Hi friends, it's Vanessa. So I did my makeup, I'm getting ready to go to work, and I thought I would show you a cool little thing with just a quad that you can use on your lips and your cheeks. So if you're like just wanting to dip your toe into some mascara products, I can help you pick some things out. But what's cool is that these are both lip and cheek colors and you can use them on your eyes too. So we'll even put some on my eyes. This is the Bella Bronzer and then this is our Milk Lip Conditioner. Especially in Colorado, it's great, but in the summer with sunburn or even in the winter when it's just dry, this is wonderful. This is the peppermint flavor. They have a, a cherry also, so if you like cherry. So I like to start with a little bit of that. It's a lip conditioner. It's not just a like a gloss or anything. It actually hydrates. It's a treatment. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with some Bella bronzer. You can use your contour color if you have contour. You can use it, but I'm going to use this as light, I, um, lip liner. And so I'm just going to go a little bit on the outside of my lip. And you only need a tiny bit. And this is my multitasker brush. I love this brush. But I was doing kind of a nude look. And I used this color on my cheeks today called Bare. And I don't use it very often, but I really like it. So maybe I'll start using it more. So I'm just going to go just slightly outside the line. I don't like to go too far out, especially on the top, but on the bottom, you can do a little bit extra. So like I said, this is just the Bella Bronzer. It's a little bit warmer. You can use your contour if you want. Next, I like to pick two different lip and cheek colors, one in, in kind of in the similar family. But this one is more of a satin glossy finish, and this is more of a cream matte finish. So this one's called Frenchie. I'm going to put this one on first. My lips have a lot of color to them by themselves, so this will kind of help neutralize that so I can get that nude look. Because if I just put a nude color on top, it the red of my lips will show through. So I'm just using the other side of my multitasker. You can blend it with the lip liner, or if you like to see liner, you can actually just kind of re-emphasize that. Okay, and then I'm going to take this color, which is bare. Now, this was that other lip and cheek. I have it on my cheeks now. It's got a little bit more of a gloss in it. See how nude it is? And it feels really good because it's got that satiny, glossy finish. So that's it. And I want to show you on your eyes too. So I kind of like to tie things in. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Frenchie and I'm just going to pop some on my eyelid. I didn't really put any eyeshadow on today. So this will just kind of tie things together. And it just gives me a little bit of color. And you can even use your Bella bronzer. So I'm just going to dot a little bit right above my crease where my eye crease is there. And then I'm going to blend that in. I'll just grab any old little brush here. This is my detail hack brush. And I'll just blend that in a little bit. Now, if you want to set this with powder, you can. I have a little bit of powder on this brush, so a little bit of my vanilla dust. So I'll just kind of set that. But there you go. You've got kind of a fresh, nude look. And if you guys need help putting together a little lip and cheek palette, let me know, I can help you out really easy. And just remember, you can use these things everywhere, lips, cheeks, eyes. All right, have a beautiful day.